my wife had strokes back in 2007. They were called occipital lobe strokes, which wiped out the back of her brain or the vision center in her brain. So she hasn't been able to read or write or drive since 2007. Say so when things started getting worse, then we started looking into something more. But unfortunately, about two months ago, she had a real bad fall at home. She's had f several falls over the past few years, but she had a real bad one at home, banged her head really bad, hard on, the, hard on the back of her head, and that really set her back. Like, you know, things you take for granted, like she can't dial a phone. She can't run the remote on the TV. She can go up and down on the channels, but she can't pick out numbers. And, you know, that's pretty major. <laughs> Certainly for her, it's had to have been very difficult, but she's handled it very well. Hasn't cried about it and just accepted it. We did go to Germany for stem cell treatments at that time, and they really seemed to help her. But when we went to go back again, the clinic was shut down. So we, she was doing all right and did quite well for 10 years. Uh, still not able to read and write, but she was able to function quite well. But it was, seemed to be in the last two years that she started going downhill. But even before that, I'd been looking at trying to get stem cell treatments for her again, because we felt that it helped before. In the one clinic, and it's probably because of hearing about Gordie Howell, that's probably why I focused on Nova Stem, because it, it was a name. <laughs> you know. Well, we'd heard that there's a possibility with stem cell treatment a lot of my problems would be better. In, in Germany, you had to have stem cells they used to have to take uh, from your bone marrow. You used to have to take the bone marrow out. And that was very painful. The injection that they uh, did here? No, it was a lot different. Less painful? Mm-hmm, less painful. Coming to San Diego for us was a three-hour flight. That was a big thing, that uh, uh, not having to travel so far, because I didn't think Twan could handle long trips. So uh, we just kept pursuing it, and I looked into others, and I didn't see any reason why I should look at another place. You know, we're quite comfortable with it. We had, I think, two uh, video consultations with Dr. Vanessa, uh, right from our home. Uh, she answered lots of questions for us. She never gave us any false hopes of any kind. Especially in view of the fact that the strokes were so long ago. And uh, we're not really looking so much to help what happened 10, 12 years ago as to try and get some some help for the more recent things, you know, going downhill and the, uh, and especially since she had this last fall, that uh, if we can recover, get her back to where she was before that fall even would be a big improvement. Well, I think that you got to realize <clears throat> that her health is a very important thing. And if you don't try, try something then you you haven't got anything to lose because right now I don't have any hope of things getting better unless I do something about it. Certainly when you walk in I mean it's very clean it's spotless the staff are very professional uh, the room that we are in a private room uh, very comfortable and modern just as clean as can be we couldn't, I can't think of anything we've talked about, can't think of anything that we could suggest to them to make it better. It was just, couldn't, just really excellent. How, how was the staff? Very good, very good. Yeah, and yeah, they did, they did everything and they ever tried to accommodate you in every way. They took us everywhere we had to go, that was what was nice. It wasn't like we had to find find our own way. We had contact with Paul a long time ago and had communicated back and forth a few times, but just decided to do nothing. But uh, when, the, when she started going downhill again, when I made contact again and she was still there, and that was encouraging that it was still, somebody was still there, you know, wasn't fly by night. And she's been so helpful the whole way through. Just 
never a question that she wasn't able to answer, never gave me the feeling that like, are you ever going to do anything? You know, it was, she had to get wondering like, would we really ever come? Because this went on for a long time, but she never gave that impression. She was really good. Nobody ever gave us any false hopes or misled us. Uh, because, you know, first thing we ask, in fact, going out the door of the clinic yesterday, my wife asked about coming back for more treatments. And that's when she said that, you know, like I just said, if it shows significant improvement, yes. But if it doesn't, then probably not. So, and of course, we're hoping that there will be significant improvement. I hope we'll be back here in six months for more treatment. I, well, I guess, you know, it's certainly one of the big concerns is cost. It's certainly not cheap. It's very expensive. Uh, we're f fortunate, well blessed that we can afford to do it. Uh, it has to be hard for people that know that something like this could help them and know that they can't afford it. We're blessed that way that, uh, it, you know, it wasn't, finances weren't a big concern. Uh, but if anybody was looking into it, if they can af afford it, I wouldn't hesitate for a minute to recommend it. They, um, as far as the clinic is concerned, I don't know about what they can do for a person, but as far as the clinic itself and the people, um, I wouldn't hesitate for a minute to recommend it.